Hello and welcome to today's video. Before we start the video though, I have to say a big thank you to all of you. You guys really rock. Um, I've got a lot of mails um, from you guys that you are supporting us, that you will be there to help us. Some even offered to buy two Pandoras if that would help. So thanks a lot. Now that the nubs are there, the only thing left is the board production and the board production will happen eventually. We're working on that. Trey, Trey from the community will try to uh, visit the company as often as he can to make sure they are working. So thank you guys and now here is today's video. Hello, yesterday was uh, ammunition time so today is application time again. We just take a look at what uh, applications are available for the Pandora already. So let's see for example here, um, we've got FPM2. What is FPM2 you ask? Well, it's a password reminder. So um, you can set a master password. I will set mine here. So you can make a key file if you want. I don't do this right now. So and now I can make any password here, for example, test as title, username, anything, password, anything, and save it. And then basically I can show the user, I can copy uh, uh, the user to the clipboard or the password to the clipboard or let it show. Um, so it remembers all your passwords and all you need to do is know your master password. So basically, yeah, it's pretty cool if you have a lot of passwords you don't want to remember, just use your master password, no one can look it up. Then we've got GUI or however you want to uh, spell that one. That's a Japanese English dictionary. So for example, let's look for Pandora. In the English dictionary, it's searching. And here you go, main results, Pandora's box, Pandora's box, Japanese and English. So um, if you want to learn English or look something up, here you go. Let's continue here in accessories. What else do we have? Mousepad is a simple text editor. Squeeze is an application for uh, opening archives, creating archives. Here's Xarchiver, probably the better one. The one a lot of uh, you use probably on your Linux desktop. So it can open any files like zip uh, and stuff like that and extract it, create new archives. So it's basically the same you have on the normal PC. So let's see. Um, then there's Xornal. That's basically a small note taker. You can write anything here. For example, let's see, test. So um, you can save the note, you can make a new note, um, save that note as and uh, well, if you're somewhere on the go and want to take notes, you can also write text here. Um, it's basically a, a, a small block where you can scribble and save if you're in an appointment. Then there's gedit. Um, gedit is the editor of GNOME. The cool thing is that it also does uh, highlighting. So uh, let's see if there's anything. Do I have some script? Well, in the file system there are scripts. So user Pandora scripts. For example, the first run wizard. So here you can see a nice editor, shows different colors. It's pretty cool if you are a developer or uh, are writing some scripts and want to see stuff here. Then there's education, there's golden dict. Golden Dict is a very, very cool uh, dictionary. Um, you can download a lot of dictionary from the internet. And um, you can look things up here. So 
for example, look up Pandora. So there, they see there's a lot of stuff here. Um, I also got a movie database in here. You can download any databases you want. So let's find, for example, see Pandora. And then it will load from the Wikipedia Pandora. As you can download a lot of dictionaries, you uh, also can use them offline. So you also have an offline dictionary here. Next, let's see graphics. There's comics, which is a comic book viewer, document viewer, which runs uh, PDF files. Let's, for example, open a PDF file. I've got one on the second card, so let's see open. Takes a while until the second card is read. Oh, I got a, a small um, presentation about the Pandora here, which I had on um, last Saturday. There are a lot of pictures, early pictures, early scribbles and stuff like that. Some you might, you might have never seen, early board. So yeah, you've got a PDF reader as well. It shows a lot of documents. There's also a Windows help file reader. So if you need Windows help files on the go, you can read them too. Then there's some diagram editor called Dia, where you can easily um, make small, uh, make quick diagrams. For example, you can just make something here write a text here, uh, make it, move it, make a text layer, for example, here. So um, make a uh, connection from here to here. So it's perfect if you want to make a small, quick diagram on the go. Probably also pretty cool for meetings. So next, what do we have? Uh, we burn graphics. There's Empty Paint and Pencil. Uh, pencil is an animation program. Empty Paint is a program just to paint. So there's Pandora Fractal Straw, which uh, does what it's. Oh, that's what's wrong. Ristretto uh, wanted to open the Fractal Straw, which is a simple fractal generator. So it can draw Mandelbrots and stuff like that here. Thing, stuff like that exists on any system. You can zoom in, as you can see. Wow, okay. Next, let's see. There is Photox, which is a photo viewer. And a set, for example, let's run pencil, where I can draw. So for example, here's your pencil. Um, you could draw pretty hard to draw if you're in front of the camera and this is just a quick scribble here. But you could draw the head of an evil dragon for example. So yeah, if you want to draw on the go, you can do so. Then in multimedia there is a lot of other stuff like Milky Tracker, Schism Tracker which are two tracker files. We've got a lot more stuff in Office, for example calculators, organizers, but that will be seen in our next video because this is the end of applications part 1 and I'll see you with applications part 2 tomorrow.